Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the Lenovo ThinkPad X13 2-in-1 Gen 5. To see the internals, you have to undo five Phillips head screws. Use a thin plastic tool to pry the panel starting from the back. Don't pry the front. When you fully pop the sides, Lift the back of the plate slightly and slide it backward to remove it. Our laptop has the optional 54.7 watt hour battery. The default model is a 41 watt hour variant. To remove it, unplug the connector from the motherboard and undo the four Phillips head screws that secure the unit in place. The capacity is enough for around 17 hours and a half of video playback. The result is great. To achieve that, you have to apply the best power efficiency preset in the Windows Power and Battery menu and set the Scheme for Battery to Balanced Mode in the BIOS. The Adaptive Sync Plus and Panel Self-Refresh options are turned on in the Intel Graphics Command Center. Untangle the speaker cables around the battery housing. Sadly, the memory is soldered, but at least it works in a dual-channel mode. You get up to 64 gigabytes of LPDDR5X, 6400 MHz RAM, which is actually plenty. We can have a sneak peek at the memory modules by peeling the foil that covers them. For storage, there is just one M.2 slot, compatible with 2280 Gen 4 SSDs. The NVMe drive is protected by a metal plate that is held in place by a single Phillips head screw. We found long thermal pads on the inside of the shroud and beneath the SSD. The W1 slot for optional LTE connectivity and the Wi-Fi card are on the left of the cooling. The thermal system looks modest. It has a single small fan, a heat pipe, one top-mounted heat sink, and a heat spreader.